Hey everybody, I have a short tutorial here uh, on this picture that I drew. I get the video started. And uh, a few things I wanted to point out. Number one, when I'm working from grayscale, I want to put an overlay on the grayscale layer. And I had already went through and chose my color palette for what I was going to do over here. And I'm just going through and using the overlay layer to lay down the colors, um, just blocking it out really. You want to do this with the image kind of minimized so that you can just feel the colors overall and how they intermingle. I still have a lot of practice as far as color goes, so uh, my theory is not very strong, but um, I spent about 10 minutes choosing out my basic layout and my color palette. I'm going to try to stick to it, although I do make a change right here where I've, I've already changed the legs to a gold sort of color. And I'm using, to do my highlights, I'm using existing color in the drawing already. So I'm using my color picker to pick, say, this color from the knee and then applying it over on these little tentacle things that I have here. So I'm not really deciding what color to choose. I'm actually just picking it from the existing color. And right now I'm just painting this on a, a normal layer above the main layer and then I'll merge it down once I'm happy with it and then I'll create another new layer and paint on it until I'm happy with that and merge it down as well. using the stamp tool just there to cover up some of the mistakes I made. And here I moved on, I've already done most of this leg and I'm gonna start doing this back leg here using the colors that I have established on this leg. I'm trying to cover up a lot of my little sketch marks, giving it a more consistent uh, color. up any little mistakes like that, keep the edges a little bit cleaner. I'm still new to this program, Pixelmator, so I made a pretty big mistake and I was drawing on the wrong resolution. So it looks a little bit pixelated. Doing the eye here, covering up this, this grayish uh, color here with something a little bit more lively, but accurate to the the value of the gray. And again, just using the normal layer on top of my main layer, not using uh, any special filters or anything like that. And of course, uh, you probably noticed I kind of skipped a segment here and there just to kind of get the basic idea of what I was doing. You have to see the whole thing. Just doing some cleanup. But here I do have an overlay layer. I think. No, it's normal. But the 
very end, I'll use an overlay layer uh, or a screen layer to kind of put a little more highlights back here uh, to create some effect for sun. Over here, I'm just cleaning up. There it is. That's it.